Hello guys, this is Magic Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for Tiger Tasmanian Tiger. I am using large frame buffer, 2560x1440p, native, 16 times anisotropic filtering, mapping is off, full direct 3D recommended is on, and I'm using no settings besides MSAA. The game bottlenecks at 8 times and 16 times MSA8 with a 4 gigabyte video RAM card, both of 8 times and 16 times chew up 3.8 gigabytes of video RAM, so I'm using 4 times. I am using texture filtering of display and FXAA shader on. Now, this game's quite easy to run. I do not recommend MTBU, but I also do recommend it just because if you have 3 plus cores, I have 6 cores. Just turn it on and it runs perfectly fine. It's very easy to run. Now let's check out the let's check out the dimensions for this game. The, oh whoops, I was already on software mode. Sorry about that. This game targets 640 by 448. And this game also targets 30 frames per second. My frame counts on the top left. If you want to uh, have a look at that, if I lose, if I drop below 60, it means I'm losing frames as I am right now. Okay. Now, I am running at native PS2, and as you see, it's quite blurry. There's a load of shimmering on the leaves of the trees. So it's not a very nice looking thing to see. Uh, let's have a quick look at native 1440p. Now, when we go to native 1440p, most of it is eliminated. Oh, it's hard to look with the 30 FPS um, shake, so I'll just quickly do frame by frame. As you see, it runs, re um, runs it looks really, really nice. There is only one issue I've noticed this game has, is the black lines on the waterfalls. All Tyler Tasmanian Tiger games have issues with water, but other than that, it probably is fixable, but I haven't tried to look because it doesn't bother me at all. Now, this game looks really, really nice at native 1440p. And as I said, this game doesn't really run into slowdown, but it's up to you what settings you want to use to beef up the game to look at look make it look nicer. Now let's go into this place over here, I'll just speed it up. Okay, now let's have a look at native PS2. This is a good area to test this out because look at all the shimmering on the ground. This game doesn't use 16 times anisotropic filtering, it most likely uses bilinear. Um, that's what most PS2 games use, and as you see, it's a lot of shimmering. With the low pixel density, it doesn't help either. Now, when we flick over to native 1440p, all of it, if not most of it, is eliminated. Also, the frame rate holds up a bit better than software mode. This game isn't really CPU intensive either on software mode, so if you do want to play on that, you can, but I'd prefer hard mo hardware mode since it runs smoother with even MTBU turned off or on. Let's have a look at the HUDs on this game. Alright, so this is the HUD at native 1440p. As you see, there's a bit of stair-step artifacts uh, on the side of the text. So it's, you know, pretty good for uh, native PS2 HUDs. Now you see the map is actually a little bit blurry slash blocky. The HUDs for the X and triangle button and the D-pads actually upscale beautifully at a 2D resolution, which is amazing. If I press the back button, we go to here now this game does have this game does have some 3d huds now as you see the opals which is the top right whereas this 229 2289 that upscales beautifully at 1440p since it's a 3d hud same with the clock and also that rainbow thing on the left hand side that's a 3d hud the rest of it's 2d and even at 2d they still look quite nice this is what it looks like this is what it looks like at native ps2 it's very shimmery, even 3D HUDs don't actually age quite well on this resolution. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So expect a very um, nice uh, way to play this. This is a very nice way to play this game on the PCSX2. It runs beautifully on both hardware and software mode. And yeah, you could use any computer or almost any computer to run this game. Just be careful you don't use MSAA at a high level, otherwise your, um, your game won't run well. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you guys later.